My name is Isan Marshall. I'm a singer-songwriter, jazz soul singer-songwriter to be exact. Um, I create an experience. Um, I allow people to have access to the arts, whether it be me performing or me guiding someone through the tools that I use as an expressive tool. Connecting with people, um, my first realization of this is what I need to do is when I connected with the song when I was nine years old. <laughs> um, it was Have You Ever by Brandy, if anyone needs to know. Um, I was in transition from a private school to a public school. And when I got into the public school, there was this really cute boy. <laughs> and I swear, I'm like, when I heard that song, I'm like, yo, how does she know how I feel? Like, that's what I want to do. That is what I want to do. And from that moment, I started songwriting and realizing that that was my role. As I've gotten older and experienced certain things and fell deeper in love with music and what it does and how it's been a therapy for me, I'm like, I need to have people have these tools. At least I know I give them these tools. Like, it, I don't sing and make music to get a paycheck. Thank God I'm able to get paid, amen to that. You know, but it does take a lot of energy because you are connecting with people. You're looking to just have a conversation, an understanding, a common ground. So that's the driving force connection. Um, again, therapy. Um, that's why I got into it. Um, not realizing that that's what it was at a young age. But as I reflected over the years and once again, when things happen, I end up going back to music in some basic, basic, basic level, which is the feeling that therapy. So um, with that therapy piece being said, <laughs> um, I do provide creative workshops, again, providing tools of expression um, for others to utilize, whether they be youth or whether they be adults. Um, I feel it's definitely important for the youth because when I was younger, I didn't um, I didn't really speak as much. I wrote. So like, that's why I ended up writing. That ended up being my outlet. So I feel it's very important, especially the environment now is a lot different from when I was younger. So um, having access to tools for us to deal with our day to day is very important. Um, I write in my journal. There's random um, thoughts or haikus or little just things that I write out that may that I may not even share. You know, it might come up in something like later down on the road, but that's not the reason that I did it. Again, it wasn't for the paycheck. It was for the feeling of the expression. So over the years of me performing, um, providing creative workshops, so songwriting or um, creative writing and just different art disciplines um, in some level. Again, just the tools, because um, I do, I utilize, I should say, all of the art disciplines. So um, if you go to my place, I have paintings everywhere um, that I did, but I don't display that because it's my therapy. It's my expression of what's happening maybe now, what's happening in my life or just out in the world. So um, people have come up to me and said, you know, like you really touched me, like your song has touched me. It's helped me through. And some of them in people I've known. And then there's been people that I haven't known out of state coming to me, bawling their eyes out. Um, there was a, <clears throat> I did a cover of the Dolly Parton album, Jolie, in New Hampshire with a band out there. Amazing, amazing group. And, um, and it was a jazz blues version of it. And so there was an audience member that came up to me and was just like, tears. Like, I'm just like, wow, like that connection, that, there was a point that I performed that they connect and they're like, yes, I needed that. I needed to release that. So um, I know that there's an impact and I know I made an impact on more than one person's life. So like, this is my job. <laughs> it's beautiful to be with my fellows that I've seen grow as well and then being able to like talk to them on a deeper level or kind of get more in their heads. Cause you know, we all have crazy schedules. 
So um, it's such a blessing to be in their midst and to talk and to like have epiphanies, um, be able to support and share. You know, now I'm like frontline like, but I'm, I'm showing up, I'm pulling up, I'm sharing, blah, blah, blah. Um, as well as with my organization um, outside of the project. So I'm working with the Bushnell as my hosted organization. And um, outside of the project that we'll be facilitating, um, they're also hiring me as a teaching artist, right? So like going through that process and just like continuing my work ethics that I've had, just remembering what has brought me to this point, you know, um, everything from my consistency, um, my honesty, my clarity, making sure everyone's on the same page because I just want to be able to better impact. You know, we're both here, everyone's here to help leverage each other in a positive manner. And um, it's a community, you know, we were just talking like, community is very important, like each one teach one, you know? So I'm just grateful for, I've already received some success. So it's only sky's the limit in terms of what is to come. Um, in terms of the organization, me as an individual, myself and my peers, like being able to be each other's support system in another light, receiving all the same information at the same time, you know? Honestly, the network that has been provided, um, I think has already planted some seeds for me to flourish. And I don't mean to, but I always overly do things. <laughs> Since I was younger, kids really didn't like that. But, you know, <laughs> all my projects were like over and beyond just because, you know, as a creative, you know, we just, our imagination can be very, very potent and very, very big. So um, I'm glad it's followed me in my adulthood. Mm-hmm. <laughs>